Hi, this is Lucy and welcome to a Fallout 76 Building 101 video. This video leads straight on from my previous video about how to build double doors and blueprint it. I had some problems with this the other day and I will explain why and how I've decided it works <laughs> and I will show you. I wanted to do a video or I wanted to include in my um, video how to incorporate double doors into a build and one of the ways was by adding this half wall above and I couldn't get it to work in that video so I decided to go back and revisit it and the reason is this in a workshop one of my patrons MJ and I kind of brainstormed this. I will put a link to her channel down below. And the only half wall we could get in here was a log cabin wall. When I came to do it out in my camp, the log cabin wall would not work. It seemed to be about the only one that wouldn't work. I can't explain this, maybe it's something to do with the differences between building in a camp and building in a workshop, but it does seem to work with regular walls. So here is an example of how you can incorporate double doors into your build. There's one behind, as you can see, which is different. I've used these brick pillars, I've merged two together to get them up to the height of the roofs. Now because this half wall is raised it will stick through the top so if you want a single story building I have found that using this roof seems to work really well because this roof will cover it. So you have this kind of official looking building it looks like a kind of government office whatever or maybe an enclave or brotherhood of steel building obviously you can build higher here is an example using a different build set which is the log cabin set i know i said this didn't work but if you find a wall that it does work with obviously you can convert it this is one and a half tool i have used these stone pillars again I've merged them to get them to the height that I wanted. You could have them lower, you could have them taller, it is up to you. I put a green roof on the top of this one. So it's just a matter of taste of what build set you want to use, but I will show you the technique for getting that half wall in there. Right, so I've just taken down what I had and um, so I can save those pillars. <laughs> I'm being lazy today. I've had a bad week. I had the most horrendous vet trip the other day. It Nothing wrong with the cat. He went for his boosters. It's just everything went wrong. I fell over. I tipped him. It's just, yeah. So I'm still recovering. This is the blueprint. If you haven't seen the video for this, I will post a link. It will sometimes snap and it's not going to snap now, obviously. It does help if your foundations are a little bit higher. And sometimes it will snap. It's going to be a pain, isn't it? Right, it's going to snap to that side. So I want it in the middle. I am going to duplicate this foundation. Won't work now. Watch it. It won't work. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> right. Anyway. We're just going to put this down anywhere, apparently. Oh, there we go. We, we can have it behind. That'll do. Right. Convert your doorways to walls and remove them. We do not need this foundation here. And now you have a double door. Now you will notice that this foundation is not in the right place. I'm going to convert it to this one. 
I have found rather than trying to line up either side, it's actually easier to line up a foundation with a line in the middle with the line between the two doors. Although, obviously, if you're doing it from the side, you have to go keep checking it. That's pretty much, yeah, there we go. So that is our starting foundation. We are going to add some foundations around this. I'm going to basically replicate the first one I did, but they all, they all kind of work the same way. Or I'll show you both styles. We need some walls. So we'll use these walls. Why not? Now, you could put your pillars on now. But I actually find it's easier to put them on at the end. I just kind of flame a trap the doors. That's my method. <laughs> it's up to you. Now, to get the half wall on the top, we are going to need to raise a foundation. Now, if your foundations are too high, you may find you cannot raise your foundation enough. Now, we're going to raise it to about the first brick line here, and maybe just a little bit under. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but this foundation has moved away from me. So using the ghost, I'm going to bring it back to there. Right. We're going to add a staircase and a catwalk. And we're going to snap a half wall to this. If you are a beginner, this is quite an advanced video so don't worry I have simpler videos but if you want to give it a go don't let me stop you so we have that like that we can now remove the catwalk and this now what we need to do now is we need to flame a trap this and the easiest thing I find, so you're not flame trapping everything, although by all means feel free to flame trap as much as you like. Is to put your flame trap on one of these toilets. Right, now, if you want to add an upper story, well, if you don't want to add an upper story, we'll start with these roofs. Which are going to be a pain, there we go. Now, you will see, if we just do this, that this wall is sticking up a little bit over the roof. So we are going to convert this one to that one. And then, if you repair this, it fits. It actually looks like it's meant to be like that. Flame a trap all this, add your pillars. I will do that in a second. I will show you what happens if you want to add a second story we will need to flame a trap that again because it will be in the way like so and you obviously you can add full walls or half walls what I would suggest you do first is you put an upper floor on
Come in. Because we will be attaching the wall to the upper floor in the middle because there's nothing to attach it to otherwise. Like so. I'm going to flame trap these doors. You can, in fact, remove these walls which might make it easier to get the pillars on exactly where you want. Now, if you want to know where the lines are, if you can't see, then by all means convert your foundations to something else so that you can see where the joins are. We are going to Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> it's literally, I made a blueprint with two of these, one stacked on top of each other, and then I just merged it down. I think it was about 50 times, but just do, you do a bit of trial and error, I think is the easiest thing. Put your pillars in like so. Then put your walls back. And if you go to your camp widget and repair all, you will have something that looks like this. So obviously if you don't like this, this set, you can always build it in the barn and then just experiment with different um, different sets like this if you don't like the brick um, pillars then by all means use these ones or you can try it by Um, using the regular pillar, this blueprint, you could try pushing a couple of these very close together, like so. There will always be a gap with these, unfortunately. But whatever you fancy. If you don't want to use these doors, you can, of course, just swap these out to whatever you want. Be aware, though, that some doors do not open in the same way. So you may have a problem with that. Some doors, obviously, you won't be using that door. A lot of doors are fine. That one works quite well. I think my pillar is in slightly the wrong position, but you get the idea. So I hope you like this technique. I hope you think this is fun and you'll experiment yourselves. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching.